Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about phylum platy helminthes. Class Turbularia is a class of phylum platy helminthes. It is a group of mostly free living flatworms that are inhabiting in terrestrial, freshwater and marine habitats. They are mainly large and visible to the naked eyes. When we come through the salient features, it has got an unsegmented body without cuticular covering and it is single layered and has got ciliated epidermis and rod shaped sub epidermal bodies called rhabdoids. It has also got adhesive structures that include glandular and glandulomuscular cells. It has got blindly ending digestive tract which is luminous in some like aseola and uh, saccular in some like uh, rhabdocele and it is also highly branched in some like polycladida and its speciality is of its excretory and osmoregulatory organs that are frotonephridia with frame cells and it has got a simple nervous system which can be seen in a ladder like structure and it has got an unspecialized brain with two or more longitudinal nerve cords and uh, if we come to the uh, sense organs its sense organs mainly include photoreceptors tancoreceptors chemoreceptors and mechanoreceptors and on to the reproduction part reproduction is sexual and as well as asexual and asexual can be by fission fragmentation or budding and sexual by hermaphrodites Hermaphrodites are also known as bisexual. Here is a picture of flatworm turbularia. Now we can move on to Dugesia that is an example of class turbularia. In Dugesia we are mainly going through regeneration and if we see the introduction part Dugesia is also a free living freshwater parasite that is found in ponds, streams and all these water bodies. And uh, one of its interesting feature is that it avoids light and during daytime it remains attached to the lower surface of submerged objects. And at night what it does is that it moves in search of food. And uh, Dugesia has also got a common name that is Planaria. And uh, when we come to its regeneration, it is the speciality of Dugesia in Turbularian group. It is what it makes it special from other members of turbularian group and regeneration uh, as we all know it is the repair and revival of the damaged or the reconstruction of the whole body part from a small fragment and uh, Dugesia has got an extraordinary regeneration power it can repair small damages or losses and also can reconstruct the whole body from a small piece However small the piece may be, it can regrow from that and it is mainly of two types and this regeneration is also classified into two types and the first one is reparative regeneration and restorative regeneration. Regeneration mechanism is based on two principles that is morphalix and, and epimorphosis. Morphalaxis is the reconstruction of the lost part or the whole body by the reorganization of remaining cells and uh, so it does not involve mitotic multiplication of cells and epimorphosis on the other hand it involves the mitotic multiplication and subsequent div differentiation of sets so that is the difference between morphalaxis and epimorphosis morphalaxis it does not involve mitotic multiplication of cells where it when it comes to epimorphosis it involves mitotic multiplication of cells and uh, regeneration involves the formation of a compact mass of undifferentiated reserve cells called neoblast mm -hmm. at the site of injury this cell mass can also be called as regeneration blastema 